13, bringing you a mystery booster box opening. Uh, not much to these boxes, eh? They're kind of small. They're just 24 packs. Now, I am way behind everybody else in the game uh, in opening these. Um, they came out on Friday. Um, mine were supposed to be delivered on the Friday, but uh, they didn't get here till the Monday. So I've had a whole uh, couple days where I didn't have my mystery boosters, which I've watched everybody online opening theirs, and I got jealous and seen, seen all the good pulls. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to open her up, and uh, we're going to see what we get. Um, now, if I would have been really smart, I would have pulled up the prices online in front of me. Um, but the prices have been jumping and changing. Like a lot, so I guess it doesn't totally matter. Um, I'm looking for all kinds of pulls out of this. There's nothing. Uh, I would, of course, everybody wants the uh, mana crypt. Um, I wouldn't mind a mana crypt, but uh, there's tons and tons of cards. Pretty much this entire set, all a lot of the good stuff out of this set, I want. Um, so I'm just gonna pull these all out. Uh, and I guess should I keep the stacks? Yeah, well, okay, we'll keep, we'll keep them all in the same stack anyway that they come out of. And I'm just going to push the box inside. We don't need the box. So they're in the stacks that they originally came in, um, maybe out of the order that they came in. But uh, yeah, we're just going to open mystery boosters. And uh, we're going to see how we do. Um, so I am, there's tons and tons of stuff. I want Sephala, I want uh, Demonic. The tutor, right? Um, and I'm having a hard time opening. Which people were saying, anyways, that these packs are very tough. So these um, come from. They were releasing the tournaments with the art cards. These have the foils in them. This is the LGS uh, version. Um, I bought these ones at 401 Games. I don't have a card from them handy here, I don't think. Um, and they're set in a certain way. So there's uncommons, uh, commons, and uncommons two of each color, right? And they're all from different sets, um, right? That's what made it cool mystery. They're made for Chaos Draft. They have the little Planeswalker symbol down in the corner um, is how you know it's from the mystery boosters themselves, right? So it goes white, common and uncommon, and there is some money in the common and uncommon slot. There's some stuff to look for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do these... I'm uh, just thinking... Yeah, I'm just going to do them like this. Okay, so I had a charge. I had a mark by honor. Collar of the Gales. Jawar Isle Advent Avenger. Jawar? Alright. Uh, Myers Malice. Desperate Castaways. And this is the slot that I could find the tutor in, guys. As well as in the blue, you can find the Rhystic Study. Um, Stormblood Berserker. Pickle Boar. Ravenous Luracata. Lay of the Land. Savage Twister for my multicolor. Uh, so, yeah, well, let's do this. Multicolor. Then it's um, Artifact or Land slot. So Mask of Memory. Into a 2015 card slot. Uh, or earlier. So I got an Oracle of Nectars. I got a rare there, which is nice. Into my rare slot, Memory Erosion. And then my foil is Frozen Aether. Very nice. Okay. Not anything crazy, I think, out of that pack price-wise. Again, I'll have to check later and see what's going on. Um, I do like I got a double rare pack. I don't have any of these cards. These cards are... Okay, we're opening on camera. Let's try open these on camera. Flipping. Okay, Ephemeral Shields. Um, you can pull the Tefuri's Protection. You can pull that Mana Crypt. Promise of Dunray. Messenger Chase, Omen Speaker, Skeleton Archer into Fatal Push, uh, Gorehorn Minotaurs, Battle Rattle Shaman. I like the Battle Rattle Shaman. Um, Destructor Dragon into a Bitter Bow Sharpshooters. Pretty sure there's a couple green cards you can pick up in the common and common slot that are worth some money too. Um, so my Multicolor is Bitumus Blast. I hope I'm not shaking my camera too much here, guys. I'm bumping the table a bit. I'm sitting kind of funny. My land or artifact is a spy kit. 
Ooh, my 2015 card is a Parish. 2015 or earlier. Um, going into a Collective Brutality. Okay, that's good. Collective Brutality is very nice. And into a Foil, Rescue from the Underworld. Uh, not sure on the value. I, it is a decent card. It is a card that I will probably be putting in a, some kind of deck, a commander deck or something like that. Um, yeah, let's go check these old packs. And I just realized that my camera should still be going. That's my connection to the camera. I control it from my cell phone. Before I go too far, I'm just uh, hitting the camera button. And I am opening these packs in the weirdest way possible. Apparently. <laughs> okay, Fear of Resistance. Uh, I'm having a little trouble because i got a bit of a cut on my finger. It's bugging me sometimes when I'm handling the cards. Feet of Resistance. Knight of the Skyward Eye. Call to Heal. Forbidden Alchemy. Uh, you could get the Laboratory Maniac, I think, as well. Right of the Serpent. Out of the Far Bogs. Impact Tremors. Zada's Commando. Great for my Goblin decks. Uh, Feral Prowler. Daggerback Basilisk. I ended up peeking at something back there, but I didn't get a good look. Maybe you guys did. Yeah, okay. Shambling Remains. For my multicolor. Into a Palladium Mirror, and I'm already giving away. I'm being very bad. Bone Splitter. Okay. I pulled it. This is what? Like, Pack 3? Mana Crypt? Mana Crypt with the Changeling Hero. Um, yeah. Um, do I have Sleep Sandy? Brand new pack, perfect slip, fit sleeves. Uh, let's just open these, cause you know, why not? <laughs> there we go. Uh, actually, I have the perfect fit. I'm gonna use them, but. I do. I did have some random sleeves. I, they were just under something. Okay, so. Mana Crypt. Instantly into the sleeve. I'm going to put them in a better sleeve later. I think a hard sleeve or something. Or defending them. Just trying to take a look at it and just trying to see. It looks mint, guys. It looks good. Not seeing any any bad scuffing. It looks <laughs> Jeez. Third pack. Third pack. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, my camera is still going. I just can't connect to it with my phone to see what I'm filming and that kind of thing. Which is, uh, very nice. I hope you can all hear me when I was across the room looking for stuff. Um, I ended up kind of rushing this just because I've been waiting so long. I should have. Okay, so Firehoof Calvary into a Core Firewalker. Water Courser from Battle Bond. Frost Lynx, Battle Bond. Shambling Attendance, Will of the Wisp, Sarakhan's Rage, Roast, Penumbra Spider, Broken Bond. All right, my multicolor is a quasi Pride Mage, and I ended up showing. Okay, my meteorite for my artifact. Nice. My 2015 pre card is Rishadan's Footpad. Not familiar with that. Uh, Mirrodin masks or masks or whatever. Mimic Vat. Okay, that's not bad. Having a Mimic Vat from Commander Set. And Celestial Dawn. I forget if this is worth anything or not. It's very pretty, this foil. I think it's worth a little bit. I don't, I don't remember. Like I said, prices have been going yo-yoing all up and down all this weekend. I peaked and things changed. And um, I wanted to do a real price thing with you guys, but uh, a lot of people have been just like, it's not worth doing right now because two days later the price will be different, and if you put it in your video too much people get kind of angry, or they're like, your prices are wrong. 
So, yeah. and I'm opening these packs super weird. Uh, Mardu, Quarter Chief, Loyal Sentry, Church of Currents, Mystical Teachings, Unyielding Kumar. Ooh, the Angler, Gurmog Angler. So I haven't hit anything I don't think big in the common and uncommon slot so far. Scream Reach Brawler. Uh, I'm really happy with these cards. They're cool cards. Uh, Arakan Sergeant into the Thornwood wo Hide Wolves. Thorn Hide Wolves. Ember Weaver. Uh, spider. I've been thinking about doing a Spider Commander deck. I've been thinking about a bunch of decks that I wanted to do lately. Ooh, Sprouting Theranax. Okay. No idea if he's good or bad. Evolving Wilds, staple, right? Uh, Phyrexian Metamorph. Phyrexia, right? Gold, nice. Talia's Lancers. Shizu Death Storehouse, very nice. Wanting one of these. Also, I believe money. Uh, maybe not like crazy value, but I think it's in the 10 to $8 range, maybe US currently, I don't know. These, like I said, these these prices have been yo-yoing quite crazily all weekend, and I have looked today, but I looked way earlier in the day, and I only looked at the one website, um, and I think the website I was looking then was in Canadian, because I am in Canada. Um, how is everybody doing, dealing with having to stay home, lockdowns, whatever? Um, I am not in isolation, but I'm almost voluntarily going into isolation by family has, uh, the people that work have all been told, like, go home, stay at home for two weeks, um, even if you're not showing symptoms or sick, because, like, somebody in their office got sick, kind of a thing. Uh, Siegecraft, uh, Lunar Mantle, Dispel, Impulse, Covenant of Blood, Daring Demolition, Vandalize, Summit Prowler, Search for Tomorrow, yeah, search for tomorrow. To Epic Confrontation. Alright, again, don't think there was anything in there that was very spicy. If you guys notice it later, you can comment and let me know. Uh, hidden Stockpile. Ooh, Scarg the Rage Pits. I'm interested in these cool, like, lands from thing. Um, I think Trading Post is in this somewhere, too. Phantasmal Dragon. Oh, that's my 2000, pre 2015 card. Into Revel of the Riches. Very nice. Always like a revel. The riches. Not of this world. Look at that foil. I don't know if it comes through on camera very well, but it's really nice. All silvery and purplish and kind of a little bluish. Uh, very, very nice. I like almost all the foils in this set. They're not super shiny. They just... They're kind of a dull foil, but it kind of works with these cards. They, you can still kind of tell they're foil, but you're still seeing the art fairly clearly. Okay, come on, come on. Um, so I don't know that I'll be saving a ton of the cards. Um, there are a couple that I know are really high value. Is that Mana Crypt being the number one pick here? Hitting that Mana Crypt has been great. Okay. War Behemoth. Nyx Fleece Ram. That, that Mana Crypt um, basically pays for the box. <laughs> Uh, Slipstream Eel, Spire Monitor, I know the boxes are already rising in price, Stab Wound, To Mind Rot, To a Volcanic Rush, Bogart Brute, Ancestral Mask, Kalani's Heart Expedition, nice. Uh, always happy seeing these Commander cards, Maverick and Thopterist, because, um, I like to play Commander, Commander is the format that I like playing best at the moment. Um, so I like making lots of commander decks and having the cards. Oh, Orhav Basilica. That's cool. That's commander land from back in the day. Uh, Master Transmuter, or at least that, that, uh, has the symbol for it. Master Transmuter, Artificer. Okay, cool. Deep Glow Skate. Fish. Huh. Sheltering Ancient. Tree Folk. From Cold Snap, no less. <laughs> I, I don't know. This, this, this set makes me smile. Now, I would really love a Sabala. I really want a Grave Titan. 
Uh, Elish Norn would be great. There's so much stuff in the set. Send triplets is in here in foil. Um, in foil, there's also, I believe, a Marinar. There's there's a lot of good stuff um, in these sets, which is driving the price up, which I get. But guys, this is an unlimited print. As long as we still want them later on, their the Wizards is printing more. They're, this is not limited. This is unlimited. So don't play ridiculous prices on these boosters, please, because there will be more coming. Um, you might have to wait, but there are more coming. Um, Divine Favor, Path of Peace, and if you drive up the price too much, they're going to keep the price high, you know that. Uh, Jeering Homunculus, Tandem Lookout, Reassembling Skeleton, into a Costly Plunder, and I know I showed the back again. The back... I think I outright showed it while well, I wasn't paying attention. Blood Ogre into a Lightning Javelin. Lead by example. Just so nice. Her Harkness, or Arachnus? Arachnus web? Arachnist? Arachnus, I'm assuming. Um, chant creature. Chant creature can't attack or block in its activities. Activated abilities can't be activated. At the beginning of the end step, if an enchanted creature powers four greater, destroy the web. So you can't put it on too powerful a creature, it's not going to stick. Kind of cool. Uh, Hypothesis Sizzle. Nice. Scarred Barons. I know another Orzhov. Huh. Orzhov land. Helm of Awakening. Pretty sure Helm of Awakening is worth a little. Star of Extinction. We got a Mythic. We got a Mythic. Into... Oh. Pivlion of Rhetoric. Star of Extinction. Um, I think that might be our first mythic. I really do think that's the first mythic. I'm not remembering seeing any mythics before that. No. No, 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 no. No mythic. Yeah? No mythic. Now, it is possible to pull a three rare or a three mythic out of this because these last three slots can all hit mythic. Um, super rare, of course, but it can happen not planning on it happening or betting on it happening. I'm like, oh wait, sorry, I do have one more mythic. I do have mana crypt. My first, my first mythic is a mana crypt. <laughs> I completely forgot about that till right now in this one second. Uh, medi uh, meditation puzzle. Medi meditation puzzle? Meditation puzzle? Uh, I can't pronounce now. Uh, excavation elephant. Fleeting distraction. Totally lost. Ooh. Assassin. Nirkana Assassin. Fen Holler. Flame Jab. Flame Tongue Kazu. Lead the Stampede. Longshot Squad. We Dragonauts. I got me still for We Dragonauts. Okay. Flare Husk. Fact equipment, living weapon. Okay. Brimstone Dragon. Respected by summoning sickness. Interesting. I don't even think I've seen anybody pull that yet. Anywhere. Oh, and we're into a Doretti Scrap Servant. There we go. And then for the foil, a Pan Glacial Worm. That's nice. So Mythic number three. Uh, so we're up to three Mythics total. Uh, so I get one to two more, and I've hit it like a box average, I guess. I've seen some people post a crazy amount of mythics, so I think like nine or ten out of these, but I'd be happy just at least with the mana crypt anyway, really just hitting the average. Um, Swift Cloth, Healing Grace, Artificer's Assistant, Ring Warden Owl, Voracious Null, March of the Drowned, Race of Progress, Fiery Hellhound, Woolly Loxodon, Aloth Gorger, and I know I popped it out there for a second. Um, Urban Evolution, Kazandu Re Refuge, Ristic Study. Okay, so I thought the Ristic Study was back in the other. No, it's here in this slot. So I've hit a Ristic Study, which is nice. Into a Sewer Nemesis, into a Gold Card, and Witchbane Orb. Not bad. Okay, cool. Uh, so, uh, another rare foil. 
Uh, not sure what which vein arm this works. I know Rustic Study sh uh, should still be like 15 to 20 bucks US, somewhere in that price, I believe. Uh, yeah, but yeah, no Rustic Study in a main crypt, but I'm happy so far. Um, I haven't hit my big ones that I want mythic wise, of like Brave Titan or Alex Dorn or some Ball Halt of the Wild, but I'm, I'm happy with the box already. And I'm not even, anywhere. I don't even think I'm halfway through yet. Soul Mender, Sarah Disciple, Deep Freeze. Brilliant Spectrum, Dark Withering, into Gifted Aetherborn, okay. Alchemist Greeting, Alchemist Greeting, Lightning Bolt, <laughs> Good old Lightning Bolt, Seal of Strength, Charging Rhino, into Law Mage's Binding, okay. Uh, not sure if you can get a Mythic in the Gold uh, Multicolor card slot. Wrong. Oh, the monument. Hey, I wanted a monument. I've been wanting a monument. Green creature spells. Yeah. Cost one less to cast. Um, Wild Nactal. Creature Cat Warrior. I love the art on this. I've always loved this this art. Uh, ooh, Eldritch Evolution. Vimeo, School at the Water's Edge in Foil. Nice. Another nice... Nice foil. Uh, yeah. Um, value out of these boxes, guys. Your value. Uh, the only thing is, is, like I said, with the prices rising, I've already seen online, not a 401 where I bought these. I think these have gone up at least 20 bucks from when I bought them at 149.99. I think they're uh, now 169.99 um, at 401 games. But I've seen people already trying to charge like 220 bucks, 100, 219 Canadian. Um, but they are an unlimited print run, so they're, they're coming, more is coming. As long as there's demand, Blizzard's just going to print lots more. Um, and with what's in the sets, I, I definitely think people are going to want more, so I wouldn't pay the inflated prices. Street Mall, always a good card. Everybody loves Street Mall if you play in black. <laughs> Uh, Broad Hostility, Mark of Mutiny, Gaia's Blessing, interesting, Dominaria, there's sets in here that I think you can even get like Throne of Eldraine, um, could you, I think you can get Theros, I think there is cards from Theros in this set, Mortify, after the cost of Caterpillar, not bad, uh, Trepanation Blade, Panther, Path, Path Razor of Ulamog, Path Razor. Terrarian Mauler. Memonite. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that's not like crazy. I, I'm not too sure on the Ulamog or the Mauler. Truthfully, I have no idea. The last three cards I have no <laughs> And the foil. Um, that might be worth a couple bucks each, guys. I have no idea. Um, when I was originally checking this, I don't think there was a card out of this set that was under 25 cents. Like I said, but that was a while ago. I can't give you too many prices. I'm not giving you hard prices, so any of the prices that I've quoted today on the video do not be like that's. Uh, oh, he said it's that, and that must be that. Um, Knight of Old Vinalia, Champion of Asherin, Rift Wing Cloudscape, Wave Wing Elemental, Infest, Renegade, Brazemores, Curd Ape, Ledgewalker, Overgrown Battlement, Battlement? Battlement. Saltai Charm, okay. Goblin Burrows, great land for goblins. Pestilence, ooh. Oh, I'm knocking over my cards. Knocking over my cards, people. Pestilence. Nessa, Voice of Zendikar, there we go. I've hit another mythic, another planeswalker, and I don't know why I'm hiding it, like I moved it away like I was gonna put Sinew Sil Sliver. Very, very nice card in foil. Like it looks very cool and shiny. Uh, yeah, my cards are sliding around. Not windy or anything, but my cards are not being very nice to me. They're not staying. They're very. They're, these feel nice. It's like they feel brand new. They feel great. Uh, soul strike technique. Sandstorm charger. Days negate. Okay. Storm Kirk patrol. Spreading rot. Core swine. 
Thrilled Death Spitter. Okay. Wolfkin Bond. Elves of Deep Shadow. Always good for me because I like playing Golgari. Uh, Wooly. Thotker? Thotker? Alright, I'm gonna move this pile of comments and then comments up. And, uh, well, so that's my multi Sky Scanner. Okay. Oh, Phyrexian Soul Gorger from Cold Snap. No idea if, uh, that ends up being worth anything. Alicia, who smiles at death. Royal Druid. Pretty sure the, the Druid's worth a bit. Pretty sure. Like I said, there's a lot of value in here, and there's just so many cards. I think this was over 18,000 cards, or 1,000... I don't remember. There was some ridiculous high number. Uh, 1,600, 1,800 something cards. Uh, Wall of a Thousand Cuts. Valley Knock Cohort. Gush. Fathom Seer. Demonic Vigor. Not the right demonic. Baleful Emit. Pyrotechnics. Browbeat. New Horizons. Canopy Spider. Alright, into Anaya's Charm. Cold Steel Heart. Asceticism. Yeah. Can expropriate. Oh, I got an expropriate. Into Aurelius Fury. So double mythic pack. Uh, foil and the rare and mythic slot both had mythics. Very nice. Guys, this, these are straight value packs. Um, I have not been getting a lot of the other pulls that I wanted. I'm not feeling disappointed at all. I'm happy with each and every one of these cards. Uh, the Mana Crypt sealed this box right off just to be total value. Everything beyond the Mana Crypt paid for the box. Everything beyond that is just pure profit, in a sense, for me. Um, Apostle's Blessing, Honor Guard, the Banisher, Sir Banisher, Secrets of the Golden City, Eldest Reborn, there you go, Don Mary Saga, Anime Dead, Tumor Battle Rage, Mutiny, Woodborn Behemoth, Relic Crush, Deny Reality. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're on the... We're on the path now. <laughs> Deny Reality into an Alloy Mirror. Okay. Ooh, Dragon Mask. Interesting. Uh, I've just been trying to tidy up the piles and I'm not doing a good job. Into a Living Death. Very cool. And then Sosuke, Son of Shishiro. Legendary Creature. Very good. Okay. All right, let me, let me tie it up the vitals just a little. Just give me one second, because we're on our last stack here. I know I'm going to have to plow through. I'm making this a fairly long video. I think it's going to end up being something like 35 to 36 minutes. 37, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I don't have the two minutes. Let's go. Boom. Eyes in the skies. Humble. Mist Raven. Prosperous Pirates. Ballad on the four into the Blight Soil Druid. Okay. Uh, yeah. Shattering Spree. Oh, Shattering Spree into a Shatter. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I like that. Uh, Nest Invader. Frozen Tusker. Riptide Crab. Okay. I had no clue that it was in the set. Uh, Consulate Dreadnought. Soren Markov. I have been hitting Planeswalkers, people. Um, okay, so, Soren Markov into... Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Soren Markov into a Shamanic Revelation, into a Viscara Seer. Okay, so, that's another in this slot. So that is... Three Planeswalkers Mythic. The Star of Extinction and the Mana Crypt. So we hit our five mythic, yeah? We hit our five mythic, I believe. I'm happy. <laughs> Any more mythics? Pure, pure goodness. We're at five mythics. Okay, we're gonna try opening. Yeah, look at that. A rip like that. That was good. Okay. Don't want to damage the cards. Don't want my second mana vault. I'm curious if you could pull two mana vaults out of these. Like one box. Alright, Alpha Protector. Core Hookmaster. Pink Fathom Divers. Shaper Parasite. Yargle. Yargle. 
Uh, I already have a bunch of Yargo, but these still makes me happy. Yargo, Cursed Minotaur, Bomber Corpse, Charged Tooth Cougar, Root Out, ooh, Aggressive Instinct. Alright. Skyward Eye Prophets, Swift Water Cliffs, okay, okay. Mind Ripper, Dethruti Mind Ripper, okay. Corsair of Kruifex, yes. Very good card for Commander, guys. And then, oh, Motion of Life's Web. Also a great card I would love to run again. <laughs> There's some stuff I could do off that. I don't know if a lot of people know this card. It's from Cam uh, one of the Kamigawa block ones. Um, when it comes into play with Divinity Counter on it, if you played it from your hand, right? So when you play it from your hand and cast it, which is a lot. Six and three green, right? Um, comes in with the divinity. It's indestructible as long as it has the counter on it, and it's an eight eight. And you remove it. Uh, put any number of creature cards from your hand into play. So all your creature cards in your hand, when you take the counter off, can be played onto the battlefield without paying any mana cost, guys. Very cool. Now it takes a lot of mana to get that out, but uh, with current current meta of cards that have come out, with a lot of cool green ramp been around that and they've been coming out um, to ramp green up to those ridiculous levels in Commander. Isolation Zone. Rally the Peasant. Rally the Peasants, I should say. Um, scroll Thief into scor Storm Sculptor. Cool. Both Mermen. Both Merfolk. Crackling Imp. Dreadbrick Shaman. Pact of Treason. No, wait. Something happened here. I skipped a card. Crackling Imp, yeah, Bomber, because I knew there had to be two red cards. Missed my Bomber, boom, Bomber. Uh, Ondu Giant, Sentinel, Wood Raiders, Cathari Remnant, okay. So, Etched Oracle. Uh, umbrella, Umbrella Mantle, sorry, Umbrella Mantle. Boros Reckoner, into a Yortiller Nephilim. One of the Nephilim. I think he's the only Nephilim in this set. I think. Not. I can't, can't say for sure, but I think he's the only. He's the only Nephilim I've seen people pull, I believe. Um, by a lot of other videos. Other mystery video videos. So if you're having fun, we're at 32. I think, yeah, this is going to be a fairly long video. Like I said, I'm going to hit like 36 minutes, maybe 35 minutes. On to War Cleric. Seal of Cleansing. Title Warrior. Preordain. Genju of the Fens. Okay, Genju of the Fens. Lord of the Accursed. This is one I wanted. Other zombies you control get plus plus one, plus one, plus one. And then you can give them uh, one in a black and tap them. All zombies gain menace till end of turn. He's a really cool card. Uh, Dragon Fodder. Genju of the Spires. Territorial Bailoth. Into a Guardian Shield Bearer. And then a Putrefy. Is good card for me. Aether spell bomb, not bad. I believe um, there's a cage sun in here somewhere. Dude, squirrel wrangler. <laughs> I got myself a squirrel wrangler. And then what did I just say? There's a cage sun. Yeah, okay, cool. Cage sun. I'll take a cage sun. I'm not gonna. And a blighted agent. What do you know? Uh, again, I believe blighted agent is worth something. This this has been pretty good. I still want a grave pack. I still want an ocean of ink. I still want Savala. I, I want it more than... I only got one more box after this, guys. So I got another box. Um, which I was debating about saving for a while, not opening, but it's making me tempted to open it. Searing Light. Faithbringer Paladin. Treasure Mage. Castaways Despair. Uh, oh, I hit the tutor. I hit the tutor. I'm going to have to go back through this pile because I'm going to be putting them in the pile. But uh, yeah, there we go. Demonic tutor, guys. Um, I made money. <laughs> I made my money. Uh, mad, mad money. Um, direct current. I don't know why all the things are going through these the way I was. Uh, Blood Mat Vampire. Turn Timber Basilisk. The crowd goes wild. The crowd goes wild. I should have gone more wild over that demonic tutor. Um, I kind of am still in shock even, I'd say, a little bit, guys, because of the mana crypt. 
Uh, Boris's Challenger. Thrawn Golem. I love the look of this card. It looks like uh, Karn. Just like all, like all spiked. All chaos-y. Uh, Parish? Uh, yeah, we had another Parish before, right? Yeah, we pulled one in this pack, so. Oh, Animar, Soul of Elements. Animar, the Soul of Elements. So I've hit another Mythic. Right, and Lightning Storm. Always a nice card to have. Um, yeah, uh, so I'm at six Mythics, I believe. Yeah, come on. Open on camera. No, no, not being good. Let's go the other way. Yeah, I'm at 35. Okay, so this is going to be like a 36 something minute video. I think. 37. Maybe more if I can't open the pack. There we go. Jeez. Yeah, these, these are stiff packs, guys. I have, uh, I'm in trouble. Um,. Celestial Flare, Great Horn Krishnok, Trinket Mage, Propaganda, Breeding Pit, ah, oh, Breeding Pit, Painful Lesson, um, Gary's in here too, uh, that's what I'll mention, but I haven't hit him yet, I don't think, Gravit Punch, Shacklepaw, uh, Timber Watch Elf, and Dirk Wood Bailoff, into the Azorius Charm, Mishra's Bauble, well, I wouldn't mind a Mishra, another Oracle of Nectars, I'm hoping that one's, uh, got some value in that, Cauldron of Souls, Cauldron of Souls into a Sakuric Tribe Scout, which I think we may have had one of these earlier. I don't remember now. Check it out. I don't want to make this crazy long. I don't want to make max. I want this to be a 40-minute video. I don't want to be too long on all you guys. You shouldn't try to aim for 30. So enlightened aesthetic into a pressure point. Contradict. Coral trickster. Dragscape zombie. Innocent blood. Maximize velocity. Dual shout. Dual shot, byway courier, giant growth, into fusion elemental, followed by blasted landscape, with a martyr's curse. No, martyr's cause, not curse. Sacrifice a creature, and all damage cre to a creature player from one source. Okay, I see that. Debitor's Nell, there we go. Spell, Tithe Enforcer. Last and final pack. Um, if I really had to say the one that I want the most of what I have not pulled, like there's been a lot of good pulls, but the one I want the most out of this would be Come On Savala, Heart of the Wild, Healing Hands, Blade Instructor, Flint, Aether Mancer, Corpse Patch, Scarab Feast, Torch Courier, Pillage, Rose Thorn Halibur, okay. Okay, in the green, feed the clan. Into our multicolored, being a shrewd hatchling. Skull clamp, commander staple. Centaur glade. Weir of invention, weir of invention. Into a Norn's annex. Okay, not bad. Still like that. Um, yeah, I believe this ended up being a six mythic box. We're just going to quickly find the mythics. So, mythic. Alright. Mythic. No, it might be seven. Mythic. 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 Yeah, okay. Uh, and then I do remember that Sorn is in here. Mythic. check the foils, because I believe you can pull a mythic and a foil, and I don't remember if we did. Yeah. Uh, I think that's a mythic. I believe so. A little hard to tell on the foils. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, in total, um, let's see what we hit here. We hit one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight mythics. Eight mythic box. Uh, we got ourselves the mana crypt. We hit like three planeswalkers. Um, yeah. <laughs> we got uh, lots of good stuff. I'm going to wrap the video there, guys. If you liked it, feel free to like, comment, or subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in the next one.